Hello everybody, today we're going to be having a look at the Amiga on the DE10 Nano. The previous video that I did was a setup on the DE10 Nano, so if you haven't watched that and you don't know how to set up the DE10 Nano, I recommend that you check that out first. But today we're going to be having a look at the Amiga Core, which is called Mini MiG. So I've inserted the um, my SD card with the Mr. Data on it, and uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to have WinUAE ready. Uh, I've got a whole series on WinUAE and making hard drive files and uh, and the whole setup of that. So uh, that will be linked up in the corner as well if you don't know how to do that. But uh, what we're going to be needing. Uh, for the mini mig is uh, some kickstart roms now kickstart roms are also available from the amiga forever pack so if you've got the amiga forever pack installed you'll find under the c drive under users public public documents amiga files under shared and then roms you'll find all of the rom files so i've already got them in a kickstart folder here under my WinUA directory so what we're going to do is we're going to pick out some ROMs so specifically we're going to pick out the Amigo OS 130 ROM which is an Amiga 500 we're going to pick out the uh, 204 ROM which is an Amiga 500 plus uh, we'll add also as well an Amiga 1200 so those are quite popular um, versions of Amiga so I'm just going to copy those three files and then on the SD card we're going to be going to games or we'll go to Amiga and you'll see already I've imported those three ROM files. I've also transferred over my Better Workbench hard drive file that um, I already had made in WinUAE and as well I've included just a game ADF file. This is super hang on. So this runs on an Amiga 500 and we'll try that out in a little bit later. So with all these files transferred over to our SD card, we can now take the SD card out and then move over to the DE10 Nano. So here we have the DE10 Nano loaded up. So I'm going to move down to computer and then I'm going to go all the way down to the M's for mini MIG and just press enter. That then loads up the core. Now it will warn saying that there's no configs found at all. This, this is the first time we're loading up this core. Um, it does look for a kickstart ROM that's just called kick.rom but um, all of ours are changed to a slightly different name. So if we press F12 what we can do is we can go to CPU and chipset press enter and then we'll make sure that we've got a Amiga 500 selected we've got a 600 processor selected so we can go left and then to memory and then under memory we've got one megabyte of chip RAM and two megabytes of fast RAM actually if we're going to do a proper A500 what we should do is we should have 512 so I'm just going to press enter on there a couple of times 512 a chip and then no fast memory at all and 512 of slow RAM. So under ROM we've got kick.rom where well, that doesn't exist at the moment. If I press enter it then gives us a list of all the ROMs that are in that Amiga directory. So I'm going to select Amiga OS 130 and then I'm going to go left. What we'll do is we'll insert a floppy disk. So we'll go up to the top DF0, press enter there's our super hang on disk that uh, we copied over. Press enter and then what we'll do is we'll go down to the bottom and press reset. And there we go. It's loading up our Amiga game. So if I just click on the mouse. Yeah, there we go. It's loading up. I've muted the sound for the moment so you won't hear any sound in the game. So we can go back to the menu by pressing F12 and then if you're happy with that configuration you can go to save configuration and uh, you can set it as the startup one or just choose it as another one, choose it as another one 
so then if I go back in there you go there's the config setup so that's my a500 config setup so let's go back one let's let's make a super duper Amiga a1200 so what we need to do with this is we need to go to memory we need to add two megabytes of chip RAM uh, no slow RAM at all let's remove that and then fast RAM will bone in eight megabytes of RAM for the ROM I'm going to press enter again and I'm going to choose my uh, 310 ROM and then go left again so under the CPU and chipset just go press enter CPU press enter for 68020 and the chipset we're going to have an AGA chipset so we're going to go left back to the main menu and then we'll choose hard drives so at the moment there's no ID hard drive connected so I'm going to press enter to enable it so we go to primary master and then go to not selected press enter on that and then there's our better workbench hard drive that's in that Amiga directory uh, we'll press enter on that so that's all selected we'll go left one and then we'll go all the way up to the top that super hang on disk needs to be ejected so I just press enter to eject it and then I'm going to save this config save config and I'm going to choose it as my startup config so I think we're all ready now let's go to reset and there we go we've got our Amiga 1200 all loaded up so we can see we've got our 2 megs of chip RAM 8 megabytes of fast RAM and there we go we've basically got our Amiga 1200 WHD load obviously works as well because we're running off of a hard drive file it's no different to WinUAE if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video